Welcome to the next chapter of Soft Roading the West. I'm privileged to announce a new camper option now available for the second gen Nissan Frontier. This is the Mesa from Topo Toppers. Last week, I traveled from Eugene, Oregon, down the coast to Ventura, California, where Topo Toppers is located, for the install of Topo's Mesa camper. The Mesa is a wedge-style pop-up camper shell with an integrated bed. You can toss in your bin of camping gear and you're ready to hit the road as is, retaining your truck's utility during the week. Or, if you're like me, you see a beautiful blank slate ready to personalize with your own interior build. While I've got the very first Topo Topper built for a Frontier, these guys have been at it for years and have models available for Tacoma, Colorado, Ram, F-150, Tundra, Canyon, and the Gladiator. Topo also builds a full pop-up version called the Badlander for all of those trucks. The Badlander for the Frontier is not quite ready, but it is in the works. Your Topo shell can be customized in a number of ways. I've opted for Topo's own cargo door on the driver's side and the super practical Arctic Turn Overland window on the passenger side, which is a double-paned tinted acrylic window that swings open in a couple of positions and includes both a retractable screen and an incorporated privacy shade. Other options for your side panels include a more standard slider window, the turn cargo door, or just leaving the solid panel. You can also opt for mounting tracks on the side or roof and Topo's own awning brackets, which I've had them include on my driver's side. Inside, similar to other pop-up toppers, the bed platform panels and mattress pads can be set back into the cab over area to enable full standing room access in the truck bed. When the bed is fully deployed, you can still climb up or down from the bed of the truck. This is not a huge opening if you have a truck with a 5 foot bed like mine. On longer trucks, this opening is wider. Your bedding can remain in place when you close up the camper. The camper comes with a 2 inch foam mattress. It doesn't sound like a lot. I actually slept very well on this. There is room in here to put you know, some sort of like a, an extra foam topper on here or to come up with a different mattress solution. The tent portion includes screen windows on each side, as well as a large window to the rear with a screen you can unzip. And there are side pockets, which I immediately found useful for my keys, phone, water bottle, and my camp light. I camped a couple of nights on my way home from Ventura, including a beachfront site where I was hammered with winds strong enough to rock the entire truck, and I was surprised by how little the tent sides flapped, really making no perceptible noise. This was nothing like sleeping in a ground tent, and I slept very well in spite of the stormy coastal weather. The camper is constructed entirely of powder-coated 8-inch aluminum. The weight will vary a bit according to the truck model, but the Mesa will be somewhere around 250 pounds. My short bed camper is even lighter than that, and didn't even begin to impact my all-dogs off-road parabolic rear springs leaving me a lot of leeway for an interior build and completing my rear bumper. The roof is formed of a single sheet of aluminum which wraps down for a fully seamless waterproof top. The white panel you see is simply vinyl wrap they add to their darker color toppers to reflect sunlight and keep it cooler in summer. On a cold night in a wet climate, some condensation uh, on an aluminum camper is to be expected. I did not end up with so much that I had you know water dripping down on me. I do plan to insulate the aluminum portions like I did on my previous shell that was helpful both in summer and winter. One of the things that appealed to me about Topo's campers is the very sleek low profile. It rises very little above the truck compared to many other cab over campers and as you may have noticed I did indeed delete the factory roof rack from my Frontier. Even if I had been able to preserve the rack, with my 5 foot short bed, the cab over portion would render most of a roof rack unusable anyway. I much prefer this lean aerodynamic profile, and with the camper installed, I averaged a loss of only about 1 mile per gallon on the highway compared to what I was getting driving the truck with the roof rack in place, and no perceptible impact on mileage for in-town driving. Another thing about Topo's camper that immediately appealed to me when I first saw it at Expo PNW last year is the smooth, clean lines compared to nearly every other pop-up camper out there. 
I also appreciate that the roof struts are enclosed within the camper body when it's closed, so there's no chance of snagging them on branches and they're protected from dust and weather when driving. Even with this well thought out design and durable construction, the Topo Mesa is among the most affordable pop-up campers out there. The Mesa for a mid-sized truck starts at just $6,450. Side panel options and other upgrades increment the cost up depending on how you choose to configure your camper, but with such a reasonable base price, you have leeway to option out your camper exactly the way you want. My camper as configured with the cargo door, awning brackets, and splurging on the arctic turn window still only came to a total of $7,990. That's below the starting price of other campers on the market. Now, full disclosure, while I purchased this camper and it belongs to me, Topo Toppers did provide me with a significant discount. Now, I earn no commissions and have nothing to gain if you decide to buy a camper from Topo. Going forward, you will see my experience with this camper and hear my honest impressions, good or bad. And while I don't benefit from referrals, if you do talk to Topo about a camper, Tell them Donald sent you. Coming soon, I will get the camper out on some real adventures and see how things go off-road. I will eventually be building out the back of the truck, but I love that I can go out and camp with it as is, so I'm going to take my time to figure out exactly what makes sense for me back there. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing so you don't miss seeing how the build evolves and performs on the trail. And if you appreciate the content I bring, consider becoming a member on Patreon. Patreon supporters receive exclusive extra videos, early access to the latest developments, direct messaging access, and other benefits. Thank you for watching.